Ashley run outside or start banging on her window like pop 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 get the fuck out the car <laughs> we gonna fight fuck you talking about bitch when I see you it's over hey y'all it's Lil Maddie and this is like a tip cause I'm back with another video I said I'm back with another video and I'm coming with the story time period y'all been asking so I'm gonna deliver okay this is a story time about the time I, I almost fought one of my well my used to be like close ass friends like we was like this we was like this and if y'all watched my um 10th grade fight video y'all know who I'm well y'all don't know who I'm talking about but she was mentioned in that story time her her name was Dory in the story time so <laughs> If y'all know me, and y'all know me, like know me, know me. I'm talking about like dead ass people that know me. Y'all know who I'm talking about, and I don't care. <laughs> I don't. It's no bad blood no more. I don't care about that friendship anymore. It's literally been like a cool five years. Wow, I'm fucking old. Has it been five years? I'm geeking. It ain't been five years. It's only been like... That was senior year, so that's senior year, freshman year in college, so it's only been like three years, so I'm on like five years, but anyway, I'm done rambling, so let me just get on to the story, and let me give you all some backstory on why I almost fought her, so no, I didn't actually fight her, um, but we damn near came close, and it was never because I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so let's get on to the story. So y'all, me and her were like close, close friends. When I tell y'all, y'all, it was like me and her. You didn't see one without the other, like literally. Like she wasn't my best friend. She didn't have that best friend title, but we was definitely little sis, big sis. And she's a year older than me, so she's in a class above me, right? Um, we met through dance. So she was in a higher level dance than me, and then I was in dance one when I came to the school. So my freshman year, of course, she was a. So, a sophomore yeah my, my dumb ass so i was a freshman she was a sophomore and we met through dance and you know i was in dance one which is the lowest dance class but i was never like a dance one dancer like i was always meant to be up in a higher class i've been dancing since i was young i wasn't wasn't supposed to be in that class but because i transferred into the school they put me in that class because they couldn't just put me in another class and i had already missed tryouts for the higher level classes or whatever right so I was in that class for that year, but literally everybody would like, like she would come in my class and like, just like being there, like not, cause she didn't want to be in class or whatever. So she would come in there and help um, the dance teacher or whatever, or like makeup dances and stuff like that. And like everybody would notice that I could dance. And I swear, like if you really got a talent and you can show it off, bitches would really cling to you. And that's just that. So everybody knew I could dance and I really was dancing my ass off, not gonna lie. So they wanted to be, you know, like, oh, she can dance, like, put her in the front, like, be, like, let's talk to her, like, she, all these bitches in here don't know what the fuck they're doing, but she can actually do something, like, she's actually doing something. So that's what that was about. So me and her actually got close through dance, and then after that, we started cheering together, so we really got close because we was literally seeing each other every day after school, like, spending hours and hours together after school, so we just started getting close. Um, my, my freshman year, like, we wasn't, like, dumb as, as close as we was going up, but, like, we was, we was really cool, like, we was cool. So then, I got into sophomore year, and she got into junior year, and we ended up in the same dance class. So then, with that, <clears throat> with that, it was like, okay, we really, 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 really started getting close. Like, we had dance class together, and I think we had another class together, too. But, like, we, we had danced together. We had cheered together. So, we really started getting, like, close together. Like, we was, like, like we was really, like, little sis, big sis or whatever, right? Yeah, like, that was really my big sis, right? But I was the fucking big sister in a relationship. And y'all y'all going to understand what I'm talking about. So, then, as we getting close or whatever, like, she, like, losing all her other friends. Like, all her other friends, like, oh, bitch, you're fake. Like, you did this fake ass shit or like she would she would fuck with a nigga that her friend used to fuck with and shit like that like just do some fake ass shit but i'm like all right well this bitch ain't never did nothing fake to me so she's cool in my book like she ain't never did nothing to me and we're close so i'm not even going to expect her to be on no fake shit with me because like literally we were close as shit like i would be at her house her mother knew me her family knew me her little sister was friends with my little sister like we was really like we was really like a fa like family at that point you know what i'm saying so 
yeah, bitches really do be fake pretty. Like literally, we be on, we would be on like missions together, like. Bitch, it was not one without the other, and then she's dead. Like, the bitch wasn't even my best friend, but she was dead as my sister. Like, anyway. So then, y'all, um, we had dance together. It was me, her, and this other girl, and she was a senior. So she was in our dance class, too. So it was really us three. And, like, we was the ones that really could dance or whatever the case may be. Um, and then we came up with this dance, and we ended up not doing it in a concert. I don't even know why, because I guess we just never finished it, but we ended up not doing it. Um, but yeah, that was that. So then, once, like, like her and the other girl would, would be, like, a little close. And I'm not no territorial ass bitch. Like, if you got other friends, you got other friends. I don't, I don't give a flying fuck. But don't be weird. Like, don't try to be weird about it. Like, don't try to single me out and make me feel like, oh, bitch, you're trying to be funny. Like, you're, tr like, you're trying to exclude me on purpose. Like, bitch, no, you got the game fucked up. I don't play that. Like, you, you can kiss my ass. So I started noticing little shit like that, but I didn't see it as like, oh, she's being fake. I just seen it as more, it was more or less coming from the other girl at that point. It wasn't even really coming from Dory. It was coming from the other girl. She was trying to like, like, oh, Maddie's little, like she's young. Cause mind you, she was a senior, Dory was a junior and I was a sophomore. So she like, oh, Maddie little, like she little, like bitch, you can never little girl me, never. Bitches can never little girl me. I always been on my shit, period. I look like a honey bun. I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if it's a bad thing, but it's really giving honey bun. But yeah, so it was really giving like that. That's how it was like they was trying to exclude me or whatever. But I never gave a fuck because bitch, I dance better than most of y'all, so I don't care. So me and Dory ended up choreographing a dance for our dance class or whatever, and that was another reason like why we got close or whatever. Like we just we really really started bonding through dance, and I'm talking about yeah. So like. Our relationship consisted of like me always being there for her and this is one thing i do not like and i really notice like i pay attention whenever i make friends or like with my friends or whatever the case may be if the friendship is one-sided i cannot fucking do that shit if i can't go to you when i'm having a problem i feel like what the fuck is the point of us being friends because if you think that you're going to lean on me every single time that you have a problem and then when i'm down and i can't you know what i'm saying you try to make this shit about you and then we're back talking about you we're back fixing your life bitch what about mine what about my life bitch no i can't fucking do it so you gotta go but like i started you knowing my job i was still young so i'm still in the 10th grade i don't know how old you are in the 10th grade like what the fuck are you like like 16 yeah so I'm not really m being mindful of the fact that this bitch is really giving me a one-sided ass friendship but i'm just a genuine person like i've always been like that i've always been the person people come to me literally a stranger will sit outside in the mid like and tell me their whole fucking business like i don't know i guess i got psychiatrists written across my fucking forehead but like people will literally sit there and tell me their whole life story and i don't even be like doing nothing i don't even gotta say nothing but they will literally sit there and be like oh yeah this happened to me then and, da -da 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 -da. and what's your advice like do you have it like literally and to this day people are still like that like all my friends come to me when they need advice i just feel like i'm just the logical pe the logical person that everybody just you know comes to whatever i don't mind it but i feel like if it's going to be one-sided bitch no I'm like no so i never realized that that's really what the relationship was given until it was too late so her father had passed away um like he passed away a while ago like a long time ago but you know it still impacted her of course like you, she lost her parent so i always was there for her whenever she was down about that like oh you know you want to talk about it you're feeling this way you feel like this and a third like i'm gonna be there for you you know what i'm saying if you want to cry on my shoulder you can cry on my shoulder so she was really boy crazy or whatever the case may be and whenever like she would go through problems with her niggas or niggas in period in general like i would just be there for her like literally like oh bitch you're gonna be okay like fuck that nigga like you, you want to pull up on that nigga you want to you want to go back to his house and like what you want to do you want to just sit outside you want to slash his tires i was that bitch mind y'all i'm 16 like really giving her advice that i should have been the big sister like that's just that like keep that in mind like i did it should have been the big sister so I was literally this bitch shoulder to cry and I never threw that shit in her face. Never like, oh, you know, bitch, you need me, I'm here. Whenever I had a problem, like I was going through a situation, I'm not gonna really get into it, but you know, I was going through a situation and I tried to confide in her and bitch literally flipped the situation and made it seem like, oh, well, that's a small problem, bitch. And you, like, you're gonna be okay. But like, this is my issue. G 
girl miss girl miss girl what like no and that's when i just started realizing like this bitch is really like one-sided like she's really like one-sided so then like all right time going on or whatever you know our friendship we're still close we're still really cool we, we never had no big falling out so we never really had no real big issues as of yet mind you she was falling out with every other friend that she had like she was falling out with every other friend every other friend was coming to me like that bitch fake she gonna turn on you like she didn't fuck with my nigga she didn't um fucking said this behind my back she didn't do that and i'm not even gonna lie the bitch was very shady because she would that like we cool we we close so i'm not gonna sit there and be like oh yeah she was talking about you behind your back that's my bitch so i'm gonna back her up she talking about you bitch oh fucking well that's my problem you know like when you when your best friend talking shit like y'all just be talking shit that's how it was so yeah bitch she be talking about you but i'm not really saying like oh yeah this what she be saying like no fuck um but yeah so she really was running her mouth about a lot of people like a lot of people and one thing about dory i will say this that bitch will definitely cut you with her words like she's really quick with her words she don't give a fuck she'll sit there and she'll argue with you but another thing about her is she will not fight like she is not one of them people that can back up what the fuck she be saying like she is not one of them girls that can back up what the fuck she be saying she want to talk shit she gonna talk shit but she's not gonna fight like and them the bitches I hate because bitches, you're gonna run your mouth, run them hands too. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, what? This bitch really would talk herself out of a fight. Like, and not on no bitch shit. Like, you wouldn't you wouldn't think like, oh, she a bitch. I mean, you 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 would think she a bitch because anybody would have been like, bitch, okay, address. But she would talk her way out of it. So it would be like, oh, she acting like she on some hot sadity shit. Like, nah, bitch, you're really just scary. That's just that. So she had a lot of those situations like i'm talking about like it was like a lot of those situations like she would really involve herself with a lot of bullshit especially when it came to niggas like this bitch was always in some drama about a nigga and one thing about me especially in high school i was not fucking with niggas like i was kicked back cooling on my shit i was not worried about a nigga i wasn't worried about a nigga bitch that's why when i told y'all i got into that fight that shit was so random because like I wasn't even worried about the nigga that the bitch wanted to fight me over like weirdo but yeah so she was really beefing with bitches over niggas all the time and i'm sitting there having her back you know what i'm saying i'm not saying bitches gonna beef on twitter but i told her like you know what's up like you wanna you wanna these bitches she like no you know i'm not really gonna do that i don't really wanna fight it's pointless okay bitch you're scared but okay you still my home girl though at the end of the day you being scared doesn't really do nothing to me so you still you still cool that's just backstory on that so then she becomes a senior i become a junior you know when you become a senior you get your car you bipping or whatever you you know you top shit especially if you start driving or whatever but she didn't have a car she just was driving her mother car sometimes or whatever like she would come she would come to school with her mother car like come to practice with her mother car or something like that so we were like bitch take us a chick-fil-a the fuck like let's go get something to eat the fuck like you know what I'm saying? But one thing I will say as well, like, she was always fucking with a nigga, and her nigga that she was fucking with normally drove. So, like, she be like, oh, yeah, Maddie, I'm about to go get food. You want food? Da, da, da. So, and so, right, pick me up. I'm like, oh, yeah, bitch, give me da, da, da. Or she be like, come outside, me and so and so outside, and we ready to scoop you, and da, 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 da. Mind you, like, seniors used to get out of school early. And they had half a days or whatever. So I was still a fucking junior and I was still in school when I was leaving school to go get food. Cause bitch, <laughs> a bitch wasn't missing a meal back then, period. Like, <laughs> baby. And I didn't have to pay. <laughs> child, 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 child. That's why I was so thick. That's why I was so thick, y'all. Cause baby, I was eating. Okay. But yeah, so she was like, yeah, someone's already come pick me up and I'm ready pick, we ready to get you and come out of class and da da da. And I used to do it cause why not that's how our, that's how our friendship basically like that's how our friendship whatever right so this is where shit really started getting like i want to beat this bitch the fuck up this is like y'all probably like why did y'all fight why why did you want to fight her i'm getting to it right now so she's a senior i'm a junior okay so around this time it started getting like you know she was starting to get on my fucking nerves like it would be little shit that she would do and i would be like i can't deal with this bitch for real like she's really annoying and then like my mom is really good with like intuition and spirit and like people and she would always sit and tell me like you and dory's relationship is not going to last that long because i just can feel the one-sidedness in your friendship like it's not it's not always equally yoked 
and that's not fair to you but i didn't pay my mother no mind because like girl mind your business like why you let me be dumb and be a friend with this girl and get, get my fucking friend bro my friend heartbroken you get what i'm saying so she all like yeah i don't feel like y'all are gonna be friends very much longer because y'all are you know what i'm saying bye-bye get the like starting to get into these little weird ass arguments that we never got into before and i would literally be like bitch i don't want to talk to you no more like stop texting my phone like stop talking to me and then like we would make up the next day like oh you know i love you we sisters we're not supposed to fight we're not supposed to argue blah blah blah. so our issue really stems once she graduated we were in we weren't she wasn't in school anymore so we were still friends though like literally still friends like bitch would take me on her sneaky links y'all so i would go on sneaky links with this bitch because she had to lie to her mom and tell her mother like, oh, I'm going with Maddie and we going to do this and we going to go da 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 da. And her mother would literally call me like, you with, you with Dory, you with da da da, you da da da, y'all doing this? And I would have to be like, yeah, like, and she would literally take me with her, like actually take me with her. And I'd be sitting there like, mm. So it's just so much shit I know about this girl that didn't happen and that I just don't, never told that bitch business because I'm not that type of person, like, not that person. This is where the situation really, 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 really got crazy. We was going to a football game. I didn't have plans to go to no football game. Like, I wasn't going to go. She was like, Maddie, do you want to go to the game? Da, 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 da. I'm like, sure. I'll go to the game with you. Like, she invited me to the game. I wasn't going to go. So, um, it was this boy, whatever, who was texting my phone. And he was like, um, are you are you coming to the game? Da, 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 da. Are you coming to the game? And I'm like, I'm like, um, I don't know. Like, I may or may not come to the game. Mind you, I'm a junior. I didn't have a car. And my mother was, like, not home. So, I was like, I don't know. I may not have a ride to the game or whatever. So, I may not come. I'm not, I don't, I'm not really pressed or whatever to come or whatever, right? So he was like, oh man, I wanna see you, da 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 da. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I wasn't pressed. Like, it wasn't no reason for me to really be pressed to go. Like, first of all, I'm not even really into you, and I'm not really that pressed to go to the game. So she, but she was telling me, like, I'm, I'm coming to get you, like, get dressed, blah, 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 with my brother, and we're gonna, we're gonna stop by and come get you. So I put my clothes on, I get dressed, I'm ready to go, sitting there waiting on her. So my mother, like, well, where are you at? Like, are you home? Like, what are you doing? Like, are you, are you leaving? Like, just let me know what's going on so I can make sure you're okay. I'm like, I'm still home waiting on Dory. So she was like, oh, me and my brother's still at the, I think they was at the mechanic. I don't even know. But she was like, me and my brother's still here or whatever. It's taking longer than I thought. Like, do you want me to just get you over there? And I'm like, no, I don't want to just get an Uber to the game. I don't want to be by myself. Like, I don't know nobody. Yeah, I knew the nigga there. But, like, I didn't want to sit with him or really talk to him. So with that being said, like, I don't want to go there and have to be, he the only person I know. That's weird. So I was like, no, I don't want to go by myself. I'll just wait for you. Like, it's okay. I'll just wait for you. Like, or or we don't have, or I don't have to go. You know what I'm saying? She's like, no, I want you to come, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can get your Uber. She's like, my cousin going to be there. So this is where shit really like, yeah. She's like, my cousin going to be there. I'm like, oh, I don't really know her. Like, um, so previously, backtrack a little bit. The girl, we're going to call her Roach. Because that's what I called her in school. Which was like, um had gave had gave me and dory a ride home from another football game before and i rode in the car with her and basically like we didn't know each other we went to the same school of course but i didn't know her and i didn't talk to her outside of the car ride or outside of dory so i didn't know her like bitch i don't know you like i'm you're cool when i'm talking to you and you're around dory but bitch i don't really know you and i'm not gonna sit at a football game and i don't know you like i don't want to like no and i'm not even trying to get to know you you know what i'm saying like no she even give me a ride home she gave me a ride to dory's house and my mother picked me up from dory's house so bitch you was going to dory house regardless fuck this bitch is geeking for yeah you really had me fucked up that's the backstory on the cousin so i was like no i don't really want to go um and sit there i'll just wait for you to like figure it out whatever the case may be so then she calls me back and she's like i'm not going to the game no more it's almost over i'm not going anymore like just fuck it we're not gonna go so literally five minutes after the bitch says to me she's not going to go the boy sends me a picture of this bitch walking up the fucking bleachers <laughs> walking up the bleachers he like ain't this your friend i'm like I'm like, yeah, why the fuck is she at the game? She literally just told me she wasn't going. Like, <laughs> she literally just told me she wasn't going. And it's the principle. Like, I did, like, dead ass don't care that she went to the game. Dead ass don't care that, like, she didn't come and get me or anything like that. 
Bitch, but you literally sat in my face and told me, oh, no, nah, fuck you. We're not going to go to the game. I'm not going. I'm going my way. I'm all... The bitch said out her mouth, I'm on my way home. And then, bitch, you get quit red-handed walking up the fucking bleachers at the game. Like, what the fuck did you lie for? So I text her. I'm like, where you at? She like, um, on my way home. I'm like, bitch, why are you lying? You're at the game. I should have sent her the picture that he sent me. Like, oh, no, it looks like you're on your way to sit down at the fucking football game. What the fuck you lying for? She like, um... It, I don't know, like, get the plan real stupid, like, dumb as fuck, like, oh, da, 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 I'm sorry, like, uh, the game almost over for real, I just came up here to meet her cousin, cause she didn't want to be here alone, da, 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 I'm like, bitch, it's not the point, I don't give a fuck about you being at the football game, not that big of a deal to me, you lied, what the fuck did you lie for, like, I'm not your nigga, like, all you had to do was say, Maddie, I'm going to the game, and you're out the way, like, I wouldn't have gave a fuck. Like that don't I don't like shit like that. I do not like a liar, bitch, because you don't have to lie to me. I don't give that much of a fuck. So she was like she was like, Yeah, I'm sorry. I said, I don't wanna talk to you no more. You're fucking fake. Like you're weird. Like you're fake as fuck. You're a liar, you're weird. I don't wanna talk to you no more. She's like, I'm sorry, da da da. Please don't be mad at me. Blah blah blah. So literally like for a whole week I was not fucking talking to her. Like she was DMing me on Twitter like um, block me talk to me like like let's figure let's work it out i'm sorry i lied blah 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 i'm like bitch shut up like i don't want nothing to do with you stop fucking texting me like stop dming me like literally i wasn't responding to shit that she had to say because i didn't give a fuck after that like i started talking to somebody else like a nigga and um there was a they was away at school and i was trying to figure out how i was going to get down there to see them and i'm like Dory be driving, so I'm gonna see if she gonna if she gonna take me, and I'm gonna keep it up, but with all that's what I was thinking. Like, okay, I'm gonna see if she gonna take me down there. She pressed as fuck to be my friend again. Let me see if she gonna take me down there. Wait, am I skipping something? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, back track before the football game. We got into an argument before the football game. That's why I was so fed up. We got into an argument before the football game, and I and we was basically arguing because she started getting close to this other girl. And like when she was getting close to her, she was just being real fucking rude and shady to me, like or not really like talking to me or like I would text her, she wouldn't respond, and she was just on some weird ass shit. Like every time she'd be around her, like she just started getting real fucking close to this girl. And I'm sitting there like, when did y'all, when did y'all start becoming like close friends? And I told y'all I'm not territorial like that. I don't give a fuck about my friends having other friends. But like, she was being really weird. Like, she was really trying to be on some weird shit with me whenever she was with her. Like, okay, like, girl, like, I don't like shit like that. Like, don't be weird with me and then try to be in my face when she's not around. Like, no, so she was really on some weird shit. So we got into an argument or whatever the case may be about that and i told her like you're fake you're fucking fake like you want to be my friend and be up under my ass when she's not available to you no like bitch we was like this and now you want to be a weirdo i don't have time for that weird shit you can keep that weird shit so it was over the summer before i actually became a senior and i was with my dad in atlanta and it was father's day so she was like um you know father's day is really hard for her whatever the case may be and normally i'm always there for her whenever that time but i didn't say shit to her on father's day i didn't say hey are you okay like are you good like what because i didn't give a fuck because at that point bitch we were not talking and you were fucking fake so don't think that i'm gonna reach out to you because you're going through something no bitch you never reach out to me and I was fed the fuck up. So I didn't say nothing to her. And I knew she was going to be heartbroken and mad or sad that I didn't say anything to her on Father's Day because she's used to me being there for her. So she texted me like, you're not even going to ask me if I'm okay today. You're not even, you don't give a fuck about me. I'm like, I don't. Like, I don't care about none of that shit. Go talk to your best friend and ask her. And did your best friend check on you? She like, she like, you're crazy. Why are you doing all of that? Like, why, why does it even matter that me and her are friends? I'm like, it doesn't matter that y'all are friends, but you're fucking fake. And I am like, fake shit. Bitch, you're rubbing me the wrong way. Your energy is totally turning me off. So she was really on some fake shit. Like, yo, I'm telling y'all. One time I was like, oh, what you doing? Like, let's let's do something together. She like, um, no, I had plans with my mom. I see this bitch out with the other girl. Like, why would you lie and say that you had plans with your parents or your mother when you're really going out with your other friend? Bitch, you could have just said that. Like, 
and then posts on instagram being green as fuck like i'm not gonna see it. like you're really trying to be funny and i don't like that shit like bitch you're weird and i don't like that weird shit like she really tried to be funny like if you want to be friends with that girl you can be friends with her i don't give a fuck but don't try to be funny and try to hurt my feelings about you like no so so then y'all um we had gotten to her and i told her i said i don't want to be friends with you no more because we're going to end up back having these same arguments like we've been having a lot of little petty arguments and i don't want to end up back here i'm tired of ending up here like I just don't want to be your friend no more because we're going to end up back here. She's like, no, we're not. We're going to be good. Everything's going to be fine. I promise I'm going to be better. I'm not going to be treating you like that. I'm sorry that I was doing that to you. You're really my, my, like, you're really my sis. We're blood. Like, no, bitch, we're not blood. We're not blood. We're not. Bitch. So she was like, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Da -da -da -da. So a few like days had went by and then I had forgave her or whatever the case may be. We was cool. And then like we was cool up into the football game situation. So football game situation happens and she's like, um, I told y'all, she told a lot about being at the football game. So um, I guess she had told her cousin that I said I didn't want to go to the football game with her or sit with her because I didn't know her. And it pissed her cousin off for whatever fucking reason. Bitches is weird. I don't care. So Halloween comes around and it's me, her. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Mind y'all, I only started talking to her again because I wanted her to take me to go see the nigga at school. And I'm not even gonna lie, that's just what the fuck it was. I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> that, that's really what it was. But again, her ass never can pull through for shit. So that didn't end up working. And she was like, I can't take you there. Da, 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 da. So it didn't even matter. And honestly, I don't even care about it. I wasn't even mad for real. I just was like, damn, bitch, I'm always asking you to do something for me. And you can never do nothing for me, bitch. You always want me to do something for you and let me not do it you're gonna catch your attitude so um yeah so i was like all right fuck it i don't even care like i'm not i don't even, i don't even give a fuck like it, it it's a sign it must not be meant to be and it wasn't meant to be for me to be doing some shit like that because it just wasn't meant to be like that so then um we go on to halloween and it was me her and my best friend and her cousin or whatever going trick-or-treating so we went through this little haunted house or whatever and her cousin said some slick ass shit out her mouth and i didn't hear it my best friend heard it well michelle heard it y'all know who michelle is Michelle heard it and so michelle didn't say nothing to me right then and there but i didn't hear the bitch say what she said i can't even remember what she said but she said something slick out her mouth and i could sense the whole time her energy was just like giving like like she wasn't fucking with me but she wasn't saying nothing to me so she had said something slick out her mouth and then later on shell told me like you know she said da, da, da. i'm like why the fuck you ain't said it to me when she was right there because i would have straight checked that bitch like bitch don't what the fuck you got issue you got a problem like what's up so that's when i knew something wasn't right or whatever the case may be so we just after the, after the haunted house thing we had gotten into like another little debacle with this situation where which is like she was on some fake ass shit again i can't remember exactly what she did but she was on some fake ass shit trust me so i tweeted my mom always can my mom always knows who my real friends are before i do um and then she had said she had did something like liked it or did said something smart or whatever like um i can't remember what she said but she said something smart and then her cousin, her cousin, her fucking cousin going to say, bitches be asking for rides and never want to offer gas money. And it was directed towards me. Like they was like, they was trying to go back and forth and like subtweet me, like trying to be smart with me. Right. So I'm sitting here like, why is bitches trying to subtweet me? Why is bitches trying to be smart with me? Like what the fuck is really going on? Like what did I do to bitches? So literally i'm beefing with dory like you're a fucking fig like what are you talking about like you really got you really like your cousin like talk shit and like say shit or whatever case may be and she all like gas money bitch what you talking about you didn't even take me home you dropped me off at dory house why would i offer you gas money bitch and i said my money always good like do you, like bitch you don't like what the fuck do you mean don't ever try to play me like oh i hopped in your car and went to offer gas money like you was going out of your fucking way bitch you didn't go out of your way literally you was gonna take dory home any fucking way so what the fuck is you talking about like so i'm beefing back and forth with her cousin i'm beefing back and forth with dory like bitch you're a fake you're weird you was never my friend like you can shut the fuck up and i'm like pull up bitch like pull up i want to fight like i want to fight you i don't give a fuck like let's fight like da, 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 da. mind you this bitch was really weird like she she fucking stole gianna watch like y'all know who gianna is she was in my story time but i mean she was in my vlog about six place she fucking stole g watch and then try to act like oh that was her watch g straight told her at the movies like oh 
give me my watch like that looked like my watch i left it in the dance room she's like no my mom just bought me this watch bitch the watch had scratches all over it because g wore it. it's an it, it was an older watch like she been had that watch straight put it on g arm and straight fit her arm like bitch why are you stealing from your friend and then try to lie like instead of being like oh dang i found it in the, the dance room for real girl i ain't know it was yours here Bitch, you're stealing the watch and the child lie and say your mother bought you that. Bitch, no, she didn't. Like, she was really weird. Like, I'm telling y'all, weird as fuck. She all like, we're going back and forth. And I'm like, bitch, pull up. Like, I want to fight. I want to fight. Da, 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 I want to fight. It's just a series of, like, fake-ass shit. And I was over the fake-ass shit. Because I really can't remember what exactly I wanted to beat the shit out of her over. But it was really just over a series of fake-ass shit and you being my friend. And you letting your cousin run her mouth and say little shit and be slick at the mouth. And you should have put her in check because if me and you arguing, why the fuck is she jumping in it? Like, it, this is, uh, like, we're sisters. We're not regular, regular just bitches arguing why are you letting your cousin say anything to me and then at the end of the day that's not even your blood cousin like that's just a bitch that you're claiming as your cousin like y'all not even related for real so then y'all me and her get to argue and i told her cousin like okay bitch what do you want to do like do you want to pull up like bitch straight seen me in school and didn't say nothing like wasn't about nothing wasn't about another action but bitch you had all that mouth talking about something you was asking for rides bitches don't be having no money bitch first of all my money always been good it don't matter bitch i had a whole job please stop playing with the kid never been a little girl Fuck you talking about? Bitch, I say, oh yeah, you don't even have a license. Bitch, I had a permit and I was getting my license. Come on, you gotta hold your permit for nine months before you can get a license. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Please stop fucking playing. What that bitch do? Three months later, crash our fucking car. Bitch, stop playing with me. Like, baby, you you hoboing and feeling all over overly above yourself because you driving. Baby, please, God will come with you quickly. Don't ever do no shit like that when you're messing with me. Period, bitch. So yeah. So me and Dory back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm telling this bitch, all right, pull up. Da, da, da. So um, a few days had passed or whatever, and we was having like um, like alumni game or whatever. And we was dancing there, and she had pulled up to come to the alumni game, and her friend was outside. And I'm sitting there mugging and shit out her friend, like, why are you even here? Like, why are you even here? And I'm listening, like, listening. So she talking to Dory. And so her friend gave her a fuck away. She like, yeah, Dory outside? Bitch, I black out. I straight run outside. I start banging on her window like, pop, 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 pop. Get the fuck out the car. Get the, I'm grabbing her door. Get the fuck out the car. Get the fuck out the car. Bitch, I want to fight. Bitch, I want to fight. Bitch, I want to fight. Da -da -da. Bitch, I want to fight. All right, backtrack a little bit, y'all. So, um, me and this bitch was really going back and forth. Like, we was really going back and forth. So, on my birthday... If I still got the screenshots, I'm going to include them. On my birthday, bitches, literally on my actual birthday, the day I was born, bitches posted on Snapchat a video and muted it and was like, I had to mute it because bitches was in the background. And it's my voice. It's me and her. It's literally me and her. So I said, bitch, if you wanted to say happy birthday, that's all you had to fucking say, bitch. Don't be posting no videos about me being funny. So she like, girl, fuck you. Duh, 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 like trying to go back. I said, bitch, shut up. Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? She didn't want to fight. Never did. So that 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 just kept stemming like it just kept being a little drama a little beef like we just kept going back and forth like it was always a little nitpick 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 and i would always end up asking for her address or telling her to pull the fuck up and she would never do it she would never fucking do it so then she actually came to the school this time and i straight ran outside bop, 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 banging on her window bitch locked herself in the car bitch locked herself in the car i'm like i'm gonna bust this bitch window i'm gonna bust this bitch window mind you all my friends run outside they all grabbing her door dory get the fuck out the car dory get the fuck out the car dory get the fuck out the car let Maddie, let Maddie fight Maddie, fight Maddie, fight Maddie. So I'm like, get the fuck out of the car, banging her window, banging her window. Um, she's sitting in the car, like, like trying to be cute and hostile, diddy bitch. No, I want, I want your head. I want your, I want your head. I want your fucking head. I'm pulling on the door, pulling on the door. My teacher and them come outside. They all grab me. They all grab me. my dance teacher. They all grab me. Like Maddie, you have to calm down. You have to calm down. You have to. I'm like, no. I want to fuck this bitch up. I wanna fight this bitch. She been playing. She played with my loyalty. I was there for that bitch. Like that was my friend. Da -da -da. I had her back. Everybody told me she was gonna be a big ass bitch and I was still her friend. I was still fucking with this bitch. Da -da -da. Like I'm mad and shit. I'm like, I wanna fight this bitch. I wanna fight this bitch. I wanna beat this bitch out. Da -da -da. So everybody like you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. I'm mad and shit. I'm like, tell that bitch, get the fuck out the car. Get the fuck out. Ran back outside again, like, bitch, get out the car, bitch, get out the car. Like, I'm like, really, like, dead ass, like, bitch, get out the car, like, bitch, get out the car, like, pulling on this bitch door, pulling on this bitch door. And I'm like, bitch, open the window, I'm, I'm like, open the car, open the car, car. They grab me again, make me go back in the dance room. 
So they're like, if you don't calm down, you won't be able to dance. Da -da -da. So I walk out and I start trying to catch my breath, trying to call. So I call my mom on the phone because that's the only bitch that can calm me down when I'm mad. So I call my mom on the phone. Da -da -da. I'm like, Ma, this bitch is playing with me. Like, cussing and all that. Like, my mother know when I'm mad. I start cussing. I don't even cuss around my mother. But she like, I'm like, Ma, she playing with me. She outside. She talking shit, but she don't want to fight. She won't, why won't she let me hit her, Ma? Why won't she let me hit her? She's like, man, you got to calm down. Like, she don't want to fight. You know how she is. She's scary. Da -da -da -da. Blah, 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 blah. So it's not going to be nothing. Just calm down. Like, you're, it's okay. Like, you're going to get her. You'll catch her when you catch her. Don't even do too much. So I'm like, you right, Ma. Da -da -da. I calm down. I dance. <sighs> so, y'all. That was when I was really ready to fight her. Like, I was really trying to beat the shit out of her, and she would not get out the car. Like, she would not get out the car. So then, like, she started trying to, like, say little shit on Instagram and, like, Twitter and shit like that. And so I'm like, bitch, why didn't you want to fight me when you had the chance to fight me? Like, I was literally outside your car, and I wanted to beat the, beat the shit out of you. She's like, you and your friends was ready to bank me. I'm like, bank you? Bitch, are you dumb? Literally, I was the only one at the door, at your car door, telling you to get the fuck out of the car. They were just telling you to stop being scary. Nobody was going to touch you. Bitch, nobody else has beef with you but me. So, it was only going to be me and you. You knew I was going to fuck you up. That's why you didn't want to get out the car, baby. But, yeah, like, I was like, this bitch is really wild. Like, you want to be talking all that shit, all that bye-bye shit. I'm going to see if I got the screenshots because I'm going to include them bitches of her trying to be slick and shit like that. And, yeah, like, bitch really was trying, bitch really was trying to say some slick shit and be slick, but bitch didn't want to fight. And then she gonna say, I fight Gianna. What you wanna fight G for? G's like this, bitch, you're like this. Why you wanna fight her? No, you're gonna fight me. You're the one, I had beef with you. Like, what? Like, why you wanna fight G? Like, are you dumb? No. But yeah, that's basically the story, y'all. This story time long as fuck. I hope it, like, made sense. I hope it was interesting. I don't really know. Like, I feel like it was all over the place. Nah, but it wasn't really even a story time. More like an experience. Well, like an experience but yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching i'm so excited for my journey to keep growing don't forget to follow me on instagram go follow my candle business and y'all know what's up like it's lit like a tit like y'all know what it is like we lit we lit we lit more story times coming soon of course and yeah i love you guys so much and i want to say thank you all for like just being a part of the gang and yeah and as far as that situation goes like i told y'all i don't give a fuck about the girl no more seeing her in person a few times didn't put my hands on her off the strength that i've grown in my life and honestly the the first time i actually seen her in person um our uh, our mutual friend of ours passed away rest in peace key and we were at his candlelight visual and they, the pastors were just talking about you know letting stuff go and just moving on with life and not holding on to harbor and not hating people even if they've done you wrong or whatever the case may be because that's just how Keyshawn was he didn't hate people when they did them did, like he just continued to love people and it just made me feel like okay you know we're both in this space and we're both hurting because we were both equally very very close with him so it's like I just was like okay bitch I don't want to beat you up anymore but I don't like you so keep your distance but I understand you know what I'm saying so yeah that's just that or whatever y'all Peace out.